Hey, it's Jen from Cake-tastic Cakes, and here's a quick look at my Miles Morales Spider-Man cake that I'm going to be showing you in just a moment. And in this video, I'm going to show everything you're going to need to do in order to make it. You can follow along, actually make this cake yourself. And if you see me use any tools or supplies you can use, check the link in the description. Should be able to help you out. All right, I am going to use a sheet of acetate here to add the icing to my cake. The cake you saw was a little six-inch cake. And I used my little measuring tape there in order to get the diameter because I got to wrap it. Going to measure out my acetate cake or acetate sheet there, excuse me, and then just cut it to length. It might be a little long or a little short. It kind of doesn't matter because you can always touch it up. Okay, once I have it down and measured, I'm going to pin it down because it's very curly. And I'm going to create a buttercream marble effect. So I have some just regular old white buttercream icing. This is American or crusting buttercream. I took some of the white out of it into a separate bowl here, adding some black to it. And then I'm going to take a lot of white, a little bit of the black, and using my spatula there, I'm just going to take dabs of it and spread it onto the acetate sheet kind of here and there. I'm going to blend it just a smidgen. It looks like I'm turning it all gray, but it's not. I fill in the entire sheet. I try to make it as nice and even thickness as possible. You also want to be careful you don't make it too thick, but then again, not too thin either. So on my chilled cake, I'm going to carefully, as I'm making a huge mess, you can see how it's way too tall. Yeah, I measured the diameter. I didn't bother measuring the height and I really should have. I really should have taken a few minutes. But I stick it in the fridge for an hour after I wrapped it around like that. Peel it off very carefully, nice and slow. Take your time with it. And there you go. So I've got a little bit of a seam in the back. I'm just taking some more dabs of my icing there and spackling it. And anywhere in the front where there might have been a little bit of a hole or like right there, I felt like there wasn't enough um, of the black in there. I just add some more, so it's no big deal. Now I want my cake to be level on the top. I don't want that um, ring around, so I cut off the extra. And as you can see, I cracked the edge there, which kind of made my heart hurt a little bit. Not gonna lie. Okay, so I was using a regular knife, or you know, my um, it's actually a paring knife. I should have gone nice and slow with my X-Acto knife like I'm doing here, so do better than me. <laughs> I say that here and there in my videos, I mean it. Now that little hole that I messed up, because it's a marbled cake, super easy to patch, so no problem. You just put a big old dollop of icing in there, blend it in, you know, gotta be careful not to mess up what's around it, and there you go. Like, who would even know if I didn't show you my mistake there? As far as the top goes, I'm going to now level off the top with some fresh icing. I'm just using some white and I'm trying to clean up my edges as best I can. It's a little bit rougher than it probably should be. I probably should have taken a little more time with it. Okay, no probably. I should have taken more time with it, but I didn't. So, you know, again, do better than mine. But I'm just taking some dabs of the gray and the black and just kind of smearing them around and I'm just calling it icing. So yeah, there's a little bit of a time jump there, but you get the idea. Cleaning off my cake plate a little bit so it's all clean and shiny, and it's not too shabby, right? Like, would you really know that I had screwed it up? I think not, <laughs> yeah. Now take a picture or a screenshot there of that logo if you need it. I had it there for just a moment, but you could pause it, take a screenshot, print it out yourself. And this is the Miles Morales Spider-Man logo. And I'm going to use scissors to cut out the main part. I'm using my X-Acto knife to get all the little fine details out of the center there. Just take your time. Cut it out as best you can. It's tough because it's meant to look like um, spray paint dripping and running down the side of a wall. So it's very messy, very uneven. So just do the best you can with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I rolled out some red gum paste, nice and thin. And I'm using it as a template to just carve it out. Now I get asked all the time if you could use fondant instead of gum paste. And you could. Just make sure your your fondant, if you use it, is not too soft, because uh, it's it's kind of a tough logo. It's very thin, very very big and thin, so it has to have some support to it. Um, and also, when you're carving this out, start in the center, start in the center pieces, and then go outside the circle. It's going to be a lot easier. All right. So once it's set up, I just plop it on top. Nothing too tough there. Here's Miles now, so take your screenshot if you need it. 
pause your video, you know, print it out, whatever you got to do. This is the one that I used, and so I'm sharing it with you. There he is. All right, now when I held him up, I realized he was too tall for my cake. I had just used a little cake. He was a little too tall, so I'm cutting off the foot. And now it just kind of looks like his other leg is be or the, his other foot's behind his body, and you can't see it. So, yeah, a little cheat there. I used his template on some black gum paste and just carved it out. Take your time with the fingers, that kind of thing. But now is here, here is where I'm going to start building. I'm going to take anything that's coming toward me, so his one leg, his head in particular, and I cut out another layer of black to put on top just because that's the color of his leg. I going. I ended up removing the foot. So now it just is his knee and his calf that's coming towards me. And I'm using the veining tool here to make some indentations to just accent muscle lines, the um, torso lines. I'm going to go around the arms to accent the deltoids a little bit to make it look a little bit more like the arms are dropping back behind him a bit. It just all helps with the 3D effect and dimension. And just like I said, I'm going to accent the arm muscles a more, little bit more. I think I did around the wrist a little bit. Okay, but now I cut out the head and I'm going to place the head on top. So now I've got the one leg coming at me, I've got the head coming at me, and I've got some accent lines, just grooves and things. I cut out his eyes to make the little white part. It's just white gum paste and I use it, his, the rest of the head as a map and placed it properly. And now I'm using red gum paste and I'm cutting out anything on his suit on his body that is red and I'm going to um, place it that way. So basically when I make these things I have one template and I just cut it up into pieces so I could never use it again. And the red seems to wrap around his, um, his again his shoulders a little bit down around his chest and down toward his ribs a bit as well as his the gloves, the ends of his gloves and the soles of his feet. For his hands I just laid that piece up over his fingers like you saw and pressed down in between his fingers, cut out the extra, and then pressed again to make it wrap around so as he didn't have giant mitten hands. I took some really thin red and outlined his eyes. And like I mentioned before, the soles of his feet, so just the one foot is showing. So there you go. Okay, now as far as the chest logo goes, I'm just putting a little bit of water on his chest. I rolled some really thin little pieces of gum paste out and I made the circle and the spider's legs. Then I'm just kind of chopping up a blob in the center or you know kind of like a little circle, a solid circle and chop it up to make the center part of the spider. So it's not too bad. It's not great but it's not too shabby. I'm using an edible food coloring marker to create the spider pattern, the web pattern on his, the black part of his suit. You, I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can see it on your computers, but it is there. <laughs> it's just kind of hard to see. And I'm going to do the same thing with um, his arms, his legs, his body, especially the head. Pay attention, because you can see it, to the way the web goes. I did the same thing with the red on his gloves and shoulders. And now, because he's, he's hard to see, and I'm going to be putting him on a black and white cake, it's going to be hard to see him. So what I did is I took some white... Um, food coloring and I'm using it as a paint and I'm giving him highlights so I am just going around his body wherever I think it might get a little bit dark so I'm going over his head especially um, the black parts of his costume the sleeves his knees his arms and his legs and again the little bits of the muscles and the indentations I had made before if you do try this method, um, oh yeah, I'm also giving his eyes a little touch-up, so now they're a little shiny white rather than just a flat white. And if you do mess up, just add some water to a clean paintbrush and kind of mop it off. You just get it real wet, mop the area, use a clean dry paper towel to suck it up, and you, you can make it clean again. So yeah, you can see there he is on the cake. Again, it's hard to see his one leg, a little bit of his, of his side and his foot so I'm just doing some extra with the white and once it's done it really stands out and you can really see you see how yeah his knee really kind of pops out from the cake there it was just kind of lost in that black swirl there but yeah once it's done super easy super cool looking Miles Morales Spider-Man cake so I hope you found this video helpful please like and subscribe because it helps me out we can help each other 
I've got a lot of other videos out there as well as a lot of Spider-Man and superhero stuff, so take a look. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.